Good morning, Liberty Church. I don't know if I'm going to say Liberty Church or Bazalwan. Is anyone in Bazalwan? Maybe I should use this word. And we are here in the presence of the Lord just to praise Him and worship Him and pray to Him. Today I want to just challenge us to be grateful. I mean, for the gift of life. This is our last prayer um, of the year 2020. It's been a rough year. So today I want you to give it all your best and just worship the Lord. Amen. Wow. 
God, we come to you as living sacrifices, Lord. We come offering ourselves to you, Father God, in your will and what you have for us, Father God. So as we sing this song, Father God, we acknowledge you, Lord. We acknowledge your presence here today, Lord. We acknowledge your will for our lives, Father God. We ask you to lead us and guide us in all that you would have for us here on earth.
morning church we are so thankful that today we are gathered to worship God once again to praise him and it's the last month of 2020 what a praise that we are here together so today our focus to start with will be on just giving thanks you know let us just reflect on what the Lord has done you know as for me when I look back this year I'm just so amazed that in spite of what happened like we didn't know what to do church kept going on not only did church keep going on but church was actually growing you know we are growing spiritually souls have been saved our needs have been met you know the church family has gone out of their way to love our neighbor to meet the needs of the church family we have continued praying having devotions so let us take the next um, two minutes to just pray individually to thank God for what we have seen him do and what we have not seen him do in our lives, in the lives of our families, in the church, in our community, in our country, in the whole world. Let us pray, church. Oh, Heavenly Father, we are thankful, Almighty God, that you have kept us. Almighty God, thank you, O oh Lord God, for the goodness Oh Lord God, that we have seen. Oh Lord God, we thank you for what you are doing, what you are going to do, what you have done. Almighty God, we are thankful. We have seen your goodness. We have seen your mercy. We have seen your power. We bring before you, O oh Lord God, Libat Church Manzini, Libat Church Global, as a church that is saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you are doing. Thank you for what you are going to do. We are coming before you as the body of Christ to say, Holy Spirit, reveal to us what the Lord has done. Holy Spirit, help us to keep being thankful. Father, we are thankful that this morning we are gathered here. We are thankful that this morning many others are gathered in social media to pray together to worship you and others will be gathering on WhatsApp. Thank you, Lord. Father, we invite your presence in a special way. We know you are always with us, but we are asking for your presence to be with us in a very special way. Be glorified this morning in our presence, almighty God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Um, at this moment, I would like us to greet one another. Let's take a few minutes to walk around and um, greet one another, encourage one another in the acceptable ways. Thank you.
Thank, thank you everyone for braving the weather today. God is faithful. He sees uh, what you are doing. And he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Hebrews 11 verse 6 says he is the rewarder of those that diligently seek him. So let's keep on seeking him. I'm so encouraged to see that we are all here this morning. And God is with us. Um, I would like us, um, before we get into today's theme, as we prayed, we prayed about um, Thanksgiving, but I would like us also to take some time individually to just reflect on what the Lord has done for us. You know, this being our last monthly prayer this year, let's take a bit more time individually to just reflect, you know, when we look back at how the year has been, how has God maybe touched you or used you to make someone receive salvation, to make someone receive hope, to make someone receive encouragement, or how have you been ministered to by other people's um, actions, other people's words, other people's prayers. So I would like us to reflect on that and to just bring those thanksgiving before the Lord. Let's take um, two to three minutes just reflecting individually. Jesus, a name above every other name. Jesus, the only one ever say worthy of every breath we could ever breathe we live for you oh we live for you holy holy there is no one like you there is none beside you open up my your goodness, how you have been with us, Lord, how souls have received salvation, almighty God, received encouragement, healings have taken place, miracles have happened, we have prayed and we have received praise reports, almighty God. We are thankful that you have been with us. And this morning, Lord, we are thankful that you are with us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Isaiah 43 verse 2 says, When you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you pass through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Our theme this morning for our devotion and our prayer time is deliver us from evil. It's based on the Lord's Prayer in the book of Matthew and the book of Luke. Our Lord taught us to pray that God delivers us from evil. The Lord Jesus taught us to say, Lord, deliver us from evil because there is evil in the world. Although there's evil in the world, the good news is that God is not only able to deliver us from any evil, he wants to deliver us. He is waiting for us to go to him and ask him to deliver us from whatever evil. It doesn't matter whether we are aware of what that evil is or not, whether we can give it a name or not. But what we should know is that if it is evil, God is able to deliver us. And delivering us means that he takes us out of whatever that evil situation is. The psalmist 
in Psalm 27, verse 1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation, so why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress, protecting me from danger, so why should I tremble? Yes, there is evil in this world. That's why Jesus taught us to pray, saying, Lord, deliver us from evil. But as we can see from Psalm 27, verse 1, God is in the process of delivering all those who turn to him and ask for deliverance. So there's no need for us to be afraid or to tremble because of evil, because God is there to deliver us, and we must turn to God to ask to be delivered from evil. When we pray to God and ask him to deliver us from evil, we must believe that the deliverance is taking place. In Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 21, Jeremiah 15, 21 says, Yes, I will certainly keep you safe from these wicked men. I will rescue from the cruel hands. So what is that evil? Does it look like it's coming from hands of men? Even that evil, God is able to deliver us. Does it look like it's coming from someone or some people who are being cruel? God is able to deliver us. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, God's word says, the temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure. So, maybe that evil is something that is trying to, to shake your character, to tempt you, God is able to deliver you. He will not allow you to go through a situation where you are helpless against evil. So, this morning as we pray, let us hold on to God's promise. Psalm 91 verse 14 says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. So maybe we could find, we could feel like we are in a situation. We have been bound by evil. Whether it's evil, we can see or not. God says he will rescue us. He will rescue those who love him. And he will protect those who trust in his name. God sometimes just protects us. Sometimes we don't even know that there was evil that God protected us from but God also protects us. So we must pray in the name of Jesus Christ because it's important that we trust in the name of the Lord. So when we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, we must believe that God will deliver us from evil. So this morning, I would like us to pray that God delivers us from evil standing on the scriptures that I have read. I would like us to pray in three parts. Firstly, I would like us to pray that we pray for ourselves as individuals. We pray because we know that who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. So let us pray in our personal lives. And our personal lives include our families. Let us pray for our parents. Let us pray for our grandparents. Let us pray for our spouses, our wives and husbands. Let us pray for our children. Whatever uh, place you are at, let us pray for family members. Let us pray for uncles and aunties. Let us pray that we and our families are delivered from evil, from any plans of the wicked one, through individuals, through situations, through temptation. Let us take um, three minutes to pray that God delivers us from evil. We can pray uh, the way we always do. You can stand, you can kneel, and um, let us just pray in the name of Jesus Christ, believing that we are being delivered from evil. 
as thank you for the music. Oh Lord God, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord God, that you are delivering us from all Lord God, we trust in your name, Father. We ask, O oh Lord God, that you deliver us from temptation. Deliver us, O oh Lord, from all evil. You are our protector. Deliver, deliver us, Lord, from anything that would be wanting to harm us, to attack us in any way, in any way that it comes. O oh Lord God, deliver us from all evil, we pray. Deliver us, Jehovah, Father, from evil that is in the spirit, evil, Father, that is, that we can see that is in the natural. Oh, Lord God, deliver us. Stop anyone who has wicked plans to harm us, to harm our children, to harm our grandchildren, to harm our cousins, to harm our uncles, to harm our aunties, to hurt our parents, to harm our spouses. Oh, Lord God. Deliver us, Lord, from evil. Deliver us in our plans. Deliver us, Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus Christ. O riba raba shika ya raba sanda raba. O shika ya raba sanda raba. O shika ya raba tiko raba. O shika ya raba sanda raba. O shika ya raba tiko raba. Shika ya raba sanda. Shika ya raba sanda. Shika ya raba sanda. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we are thankful that you see us where we are at this morning. Father, you see the family members that we are praying for. You see anything that is evil, that is trying to rob us of the blessings that you have for us. Father, whether this is something that we are aware of or not, whether it is through natural circumstances, whether it is through sicknesses, whether it is through people's wicked plans, whether it is through mistakes, whether it is through weaknesses, whether it is through sin, Lord God, we are asking, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, we are bowing before the throne of grace, asking for deliverance from evil. For he who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. We are receiving that deliverance right now. We are believing, Father, that we have been set free from any plans of evil against us and our family members in the name of Jesus Christ. We are free to walk in freedom, to worship you without fear of evil, without trembling because of evil. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we shall praise you. We shall glorify you as you reveal to us, Father, that we are indeed delivered. And that we shall be a testimony to so many to see, Father, that we are delivered from evil because we trust in your name. That our family members are delivered from evil because they trust in your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The second part, I would like us to pray for the church family to be delivered from evil. Let us pray for Libat Church Manzini community, Libat Church Manzini family, Libat Church global communities, Libat Church global family. Let us pray for the church of Jesus Christ worldwide. For all those who have given their lives to Jesus Christ, children of God, to be delivered from any manner of evil. As we are praying, let us know that we are not alone. We are praying in agreement with other children of God all over the world. And there's power in that agreement. And God is not limited by distance. So let us have that confidence, church, that the prayers we are praying for the whole world are effective that God is delivering children of God, the whole world, the church of Jesus Christ from evil. Let us take five minutes to pray that God delivers 
children of God, the church of Jesus Christ, from any evil. Let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, God of all creation, Lord God, Jesus Christ said he will build his church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Oh Lord God, we are praying for your children all over the world Casting for the church of Jesus Christ for Christians all over the world for deliverance from all evil
for the guidance of the Holy Spirit this morning as we pray for the church of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you that you came and you died for us. And here we are now. Father, we can call ourselves children of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you built this church and the gates of hell cannot prevail against it. Father, we are praying in agreement with other prayer warriors all over the world that the gates of hell, the plans of the wicked one, will not prevail against the church of Jesus Christ. Father, we are praying for holiness in the church. We are praying that we shall be holy as you, our heavenly Father, is holy. We are praying, almighty God, for love, that we shall be motivated by love, Father, in everything that we do or that we do not do, that we shall continue, Father, to love you with all our hearts, with all our souls, with all our minds. We shall love you with all that we have. We shall love one another, almighty God, that we shall be bound together more and more by your love, almighty God. Heavenly Father, we thank you, almighty God, that you are delivering children of God from things that wear us down, the worries of this world that would wear us down, that we are being delivered from lack. We shall not lack, for you are our provider, almighty God. We are being delivered from sicknesses. For you, almighty God, is our healer. It doesn't matter the nature of the sickness or illness. You, almighty God, you are our healer. Therefore, we receive deliverance from any manner of sicknesses, any manner of malfunctioning in our bodies. We are receiving deliverance. We are praying, Father, that our bodies and our minds as children of God will function the way you, almighty God, purpose them to function. We come against any malfunctioning of any organs, any tissue in our bodies in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you even for the doctors. We thank you for the medicines and we pray for guidance upon medical personnel. We pray for blessings over instruments that are used to carry out tests, to, to, to carry out treatment and even the medication. We pray for blessings, Father, that these things that are used to bring healing to our bodies, Father, would bring only goodness in the name of Jesus Christ. And that those whom you are using, Father, to help us to live healthily are being guided by the Holy Spirit. We are thankful also for the miraculous healing, for the wisdom, wisdom to have healthy lifestyles as children of God, to be a good example of how we can exercise self-control in how we take care of our health. Father, we are receiving deliverance from disunity, that we shall not be a church that is not united. Father, we are praying for unity, unity in our local churches, unity as the body of Christ. We are asking for deliverance from any deception, any lies of the evil one that would cause children of God not to be united. Father, even where we disagree on issues, Father, it should be in love, in unity. Father, for we are one, we are one body, the body of Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are asking for deliverance as children of God from danger, almighty God, from attacks, spiritual attacks, of, or attacks on the roads, attacks in homes. We are asking for deliverance that we shall be protected, guarded by your angels, as you promised us in Psalm 91, in the name of Jesus Christ. Our children shall live in peace, we shall live in peace, Father, because you have delivered us. Almighty God, from danger, from harm, from attacks, from plans of people who are being used by evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we might not have mentioned everything, but we are believing that you are delivering us as children of God, as the church of Jesus Christ from all evil. You are teaching us to pray and to live victoriously from all evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we will not forget to praise you and to glorify you as we receive the blessing of deliverance from evil in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. The third part, I would like us 
to focus on the fact that we as children of God are the light of the world. What we have received from the Lord, yes, is a blessing in our lives, but it is also for those who have not yet seen the light, for we are the light of the world. We have this privilege that we know that we can pray to God. Let us pray for the whole world, standing upon the words that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ taught us, to pray that God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. There might be so much that is being talked about, so many things to bring fear and confusion. But as children of God, as we are praying for deliverance, let us pray for deliverance for the whole world, that it is God's will that is done on earth as it is in heaven. Not the plans of any wicked uh, schemes or spirits or anything like that, but God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven, as our Lord and Savior taught us. Our Lord and Savior taught us to pray that God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven because he knew that when we pray like that, it will make a difference. It makes a difference whether we pray or not. So let us pray and let God's will be done in every situation, decisions that are being made in hospitals, in the medical field, political decisions, you know, decisions that are being made in all sorts of organizations, decisions that are being made in families, in schools, in educational institutions. May God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let us take three minutes to pray for the world that we are delivered from evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we bring before you people that you created in your image. We bring before you the world. Thank you for this world that you gave us. Oh Lord God, we are praying for deliverance from evil in this world. Almighty God, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We are coming against all spirits that are contrary to God's spirit in this world. We are praying for our city, Manzini. We are praying for our country, Swaziland. We are praying for our continent, Africa. We are praying for this world, Almighty God. We are praying in the name of Jesus Christ that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Oh, Lord God, Jehovah. We are praying that instead of people doing evil, they will get saved and they will do good. We are praying that instead of people walking in fear, they shall walk by faith. They shall trust you and turn to you, Almighty God. Oh, Holy Spirit, work in our lives. Oh, Holy Spirit, work in our minds. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh,
Chico. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, once again we are thankful that you hear us. Father, as we stand in the gap for the world that does not yet know you. For you came, Jesus Christ. You came for everyone. Whether people know you or not, you came for them. So Lord, we are praying for deliverance from the evil that is keeping people from hearing the good news to receive salvation. We are praying for deliverance from that evil, Father, that people will be delivered, Father, from whatever circumstances keep them away from receiving the good news and receiving salvation. Father, whatever circumstances, whatever situation are causing people to continue to live in darkness, we are praying for deliverance, Father. We are also praying for deliverance in the world, Father, from things that are against you. We are praying, Father, that things that are not of you and will not prevail, but you, Jehovah, will arise and your enemies will scatter. And it is your will, it is your purposes, Father, that will, f will be fulfilled, Father, in the world as it is in heaven. Teach us, O oh Lord, to pray. Teach us, O oh Lord, to trust. Teach us, O oh Lord, to persevere, to stand, to love, Father. Teach us to love the world, to pray for the world. Teach us, Lord, to have our eyes open so that we can see, Father, what needs to be corrected, Father, and pray, Father, for your intervention. Oh, Lord God, we thank you that you hear us as we pray that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, that we are delivered from all evil. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you, church, for praying this morning. I'm just going to um, go through some scriptures and just emphasize today that it is important for us to trust God and know that God knows that there is evil in this world. But God has provided a way for us to be delivered. We might not have a name, we might not be aware, but it's important that we always know that we should pray to God that we are delivered from all evil. As for us who are children of God, he who is in us is greater than who, he who is in the world. So sometimes it can look like that situation is too big. But let us not forget, God's word does not say he who is in us is greater than some of what is in the world. No. He who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. It doesn't matter if that thing that comes in the name of the world is, looks enormous, looks powerful. Sometimes it can look attractive, but you know that it is not of God. So let us pray. Sometimes temptation does not always come in a way that it looks like it's temptation. But we must pray that we are delivered from evil. We do not fall to deception. And we have the privilege of praying for others, people we know and people we do not know. So I would like us to meditate upon that as we end 2020. We cannot um, doubt that God has delivered us from evil in 2020. Yes, we have gone through fires, but he has walked with us. Yes, we have gone through the waters, but he has walked through us, and he has not let the flames set us ablaze. So here we are. 2020 is coming to an end, and God has been with us no matter what. He has been with us when we cried. He has been with us when we were shaken. So let us continue to trust him and to help others. Imagine if we were amongst those who are lost and don't know that we can pray. Imagine how terrible that would be. But there are still many others who are in that situation. Where we were once, we were all like that once. So let us continue to have that heart of compassion to pray like we have come today. That's why we are here this morning. Because we are here so that 
we are delivered from evil so that others are delivered from evil as we pray. I'll just read the scriptures um, once again in Psalm 91. Psalm 91 verse 14 says, I will rescue those who love me. We love the Lord. Let us help others to love the Lord too. He will protect those who trust in his name. He doesn't say he will protect those who have maybe a weapon and so on, but those who trust in his name. What does it take to trust his name? It takes us to be intentional, to see what God is doing, what his word says. So I would like us to focus especially on those two scriptures as we end um, 2020, a prayer, monthly prayer. Psalm 91. God protects us and rescues us. You know, rescuing, to rescue, it means you are in a situation. So if you are in a situation, God is going to rescue you. And all he says is pray to him and trust him. Um, I'm going to ask um, one of our elders, Brother Chasusa, to come and um, close for us today as we end um, this prayer session today. Let us pray. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, this morning we come before you once again with thanksgiving in our hearts for what you have done for us. Thank you, Lord, for this time that you gave us to pray as a church, Liberty Church Manzini. We thank you, Lord, uh, for this community. We thank you, Lord, for our pastors. We thank you, Lord, for Pastor Lou and Zinti. Even now, Lord, we just say, have your way in our lives. Oh, Jehovah God, thank you for your faithfulness that when we call on you, you answer. Lord, as we end this morning, I pray your word. May the Lord bless us and grant us and protect us. May the Lord smile on us. And may he be gracious to us. May the Lord show us favor and give us his peace. So as we live this morning, may we live with his presence to the honor and glory of his name in Jesus name we pray amen thank you very much church thank you praise and worship team it's always such a, a blessing that the praise and worship team you know is always ready to to lead us, to go ahead of us um, in prayer and um, in worship. Thank you, every, everyone, for coming, braving this weather. Only the Lord uh, will reward you. And let's keep up. As we end, let us pray that we'll start even stronger, that January will be even a stronger um, month of prayer. Um, Thank you for coming. Thank you for praying. And have a blessed um, sat is it Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> I almost said Saturday.